Okay, so here's the, uh, well, we're going to say bonus song, but it's not really a bonus. This is backup because we missed one because we of missed the whole one. uploading fiasco yeah. over there in New York. So here it is. So we told you we'd get you an extra one, and here it is. We don't play around. No, we come through on our promises come no matter what. Come through on our promises. What. Suck at MCs. <clears throat> I'm Van. I'm sorry. That's, uh... Harry and Chip. Boo. Boo. What's this? Ketonia Leaders. This literally has been asked for since the channel first started. Yeah, you asked for this one a lot. Here we are. Yep. Catatonia Leaders. Yep. And okay. I don't know if it's like the same three people asking for it or if lots of people have asked for it, but I've seen it enough where I'm like, we have to do it. <laughs> okay. Um, if you saw the the Fireside, the one that's labeled uh, Antifa and Proud Boys, it's a very, very important Fireside, I think. Uh, you should watch it. The big homie Damon Sage said it was the best one we've done so far. Sweet. Which, I mean, if you know Figures Damon. I missed it. I was sick. If you know Damon, that's uh, that's high praise. So shout out <laughs> to the uh, to the big homie. Also, shout out to our new big homie, um, Maximiliano. Thank you very much, sir, for sharing your life with us. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm. For sure. For sure. Uh, okay, I think I think we're updated. That's it. Let's do it. Leaders. And go. <laughs>
okay? So that was Maynard James Keenan, younger brother. <laughs> Is that what you were thinking? Of, of course. Of course. Yeah, that yeah. was probably yeah, that was probably very early in the channel because we were doing a bunch of Tool. Yep. So I am guarantee you was a Tool fan. Yeah. So I was talking to uh, one of my channel guys. Um, um, they sounded a lot like Tool. That yesterday, like weird. during the fireside, and we are talking about, you know, bands that are like foundational for a certain type of sound. Yeah. And then we were talking about like... And he, you know, he was school, schooling me on, on the black metal history because uh, you know, we're on this quest to figure out the grounding mm -hmm. work for... Yeah. But, so, you know, we basically claim the conclusion that, you know, it's okay to not be completely original if you take what the forefathers did and then build on it and create something of your own. Right. Um, I'm not particularly certain. Well, of course, it's one song, so how can you say but this uh, song didn't sound like they built and did anything of their I'm own. not particularly certain that they um, strayed far away enough from Tool to I be able to, so. um, to say I that. I just keep telling myself this isn't Tool. <laughs> <laughs> like it sounded a lot, like it had a lot of that same sound. Well, it's, it's definitely like the way that Maynard, you know, he's such a singular talent that if, if you're trying to, if you've been inspired by him, yeah. yeah, I think there's a difference between saying a person's copying or whatever versus inspired by. Mm -hmm. I don't think that that's the same thing. Yeah. So I think I think you could be so inspired by a person that you it, it's hard to kind of find your own voice, you know, because this this brother obviously can sing. Mm -hmm. It's just he sings very very close to the person who inspired him. So mm -hmm. that's kind of where I'm at with it. Um, but <clears throat> I mean, it was a it was a good song. It was decent. What were we talking about? Uh, like leaders ending up like conforming, or was it seems to be about the music industry? The term you see it there, right here, coming undone. That's why I sold out. Mm -hmm. I sold my song. My mouth was sewn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that part I thought the music industry. So it seems like it's about being being in the music industry, and as you know, being in a band, you're kind of like a leader. Um, but then you come into the industry, and then you have to conform. Yeah, because leaders come, stand in line, reveal your true self, and conform. Right, because initially you get the record deal because of your art, and your, yep. your art is about self-revelation yeah. and being, and then as soon as you get into it, then they try to make you conform. Yep. It's like the very thing that I got in here for is what you're telling me to quell now. Yeah, yeah. And I can, I can imagine that would be frustrating. Mm -hmm. um, but that happens in a lot of walks of life. Like, there, you know, <laughs> like... You know, like even in the corporate world, which I'm in in my other life, it's like, you know, you people love leadership. They always talk about leadership, 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 and there's books about leadership, and they'll send you to a leadership conference, and mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. But then, one of the things that marks a leader is a leader has different thoughts on things than the average person, or the, or the crowd, or, you know, the herd of sheep. Not to say that the herd of sheep are bad, they're necessary. Mm -hmm. But a leader has a different perspective, right? And that automatically gets quelled, and it's mm -hmm. like, well, no, you need to conform. You need to, you need to be like us. You need to think like us, and yada yada yada. So, mm -hmm. it's kind of like the dichotomy of human nature, where we love the leader, but mm -hmm. then when the leader actually wants to lead, then the, then it, we want him or her to conform, right? You know, yeah. it's strange. And honestly, it's the same thing parents do to kids. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like in some circumstances, it's like. You always tell your, your kids not to go with the crowd and not to bow under peer pressure, mm -hmm. but then you want them to bow under peer pressure in the home. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, they do. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like, okay, so, you know, it's all, it's, you well, know. Well, that's it's because a lot of times you're thinking, like, the peer pressure outside is a lot of times it's like a negative thing, like. Oh, everybody's smoking, like, hey, you know, like, join us, right, you know, right, like... Right. If your friend the, jumped off a cliff But the you? peer pressure or the pressure you're trying to apply in a house is, we want to fucking make this house work, and you keep going the opposite direction. We just shot an Instagram video of it. Yes, I, I agree, I agree, and I think you don't really get traction with that kid unless you can convince him that he wants to do that. <laughs> I know somebody's saying something mean downstairs. You know what I mean? Uh, unless you can convince a kid that he wants to do that, I don't think um, that's going to really um, 
that's really going to get get anywhere. Yeah. So, so there's that. And in this instance, I guess <laughs> he's saying that he he can he capitulated to it. And, yeah. Which everybody goes through. I split my heart in two. Yeah. That's sad. Yeah. Everybody kind of goes through that. Like mm -hmm. it's it's very most people don't want. Most people really don't want people to really be themselves. Mm -hmm. Like we say that as an ideal, but most people do not want people to be themselves. I mean, it happens with us, right? It's like, oh, we love how open-minded you are. The minute you disagree with their band, you guys are idiots. Da, 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 da. Blah blah blah. Even if, and they know, like, they know that they're wrong. Because sometimes I'm like, I know that you said that you respected the band, and da 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 da, da but you were dumb. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Like, everybody wants you to kind of like mm -hmm. conform and, and and be like them, you know. Um, so I, I think it's a it's a real um, difficult thing with humanity. Like, you really have to figure out, um, you know, who you are and what's grounding you. Because, mm -hmm. you know, somebody was telling me like. Oh, look at look at the like to dislike ratio in this video and that'll tell you everything you need to know and I said what does that tell me I'm like that doesn't that doesn't influence anything as far as I go at I don't all even look at that huh I don't even look at that <laughs> like, what are you it's talking about, about putting out the content you want to put out and responding well, to the songs well it's about you know it's like Ryan said at the show he's like you know I don't agree with everything you guys say but you know, be who you are. That's why I signed up to the channel. You know, and, and yeah. so like we kind of make we kind of make videos for people for Ryan. You know, it's like, people like that because it's yeah. If you make videos for you, you do any sort of work or media or art for to, because you're trying to figure out what the what the zeitgeist is, what what people want to hear, then oh then Lord. you become you become a sellout. <laughs> yeah. And so it's not like fuck you. I don't care how you feel. It's just and, that and you, you got to have the integrity. You split your heart into when yeah. you do it. Also, yeah, you got to have. You the can't sell your own self out like that without having some some implications that affect you personally. Because you know it's good and it feels good to like be who you are. Yeah. However crazy or weird or yeah. awkward that is, like it's you. Like just be you. But when you're like trying to be somebody else and you're trying to fit into somebody, and then the the facts are. It doesn't matter what you do or what you say. People are not going to be happy with it. People are not going to be saying right. you cannot please everybody. So at least right. if you're doing what you, what makes you happy and what you know whatever, then you're good. Like you're just like, well, you know what? They're not going to be happy anyway. What? But if you spend yourself to make other people happy Forget and they're it. still disappointed with Forget you, it. like it's oh man. Is that how you live your life by the like dislike ratio? Is that how you make decisions? Ooh, is that how you measure? Is that. is that how you measure? Whether or not your thoughts and opinions and, and your view of the world is valid by the yeah. like to dislike ratio. That's like, a scary place to try live. Try that out in Nazi Germany. Try that out in fucking. Like, yeah. try that out in our current cultural milieu. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. You know, and, and it was cool though because we had that discussion about we had an Antifa guy and then we had a Proud both Boys guy and, and, and yeah. it was kind of like and both of them didn't compromise who they were yeah so it got kind of hairy a couple times yeah but um, it was cool to be able that to that was a good one yeah but so you, you can come people both of them were leaders obviously they both mm -hmm. kind of had that alpha male personality um, and it wasn't toxic well most of it um, but there's there's a third way. It doesn't always have to be conform or say fuck you. You know, like there's other ways of handling that thing without compromising who mm -hmm. your per own personal integrity. And I yeah. think that that's something that a lot of people have a lot of difficulty with. Mm. And handling people that are like that, you have that people have a lot of difficulty handling a person that says no, I'm not going to compromise my integrity. Oh yeah. And what and your disapproval of me doesn't doesn't yeah. affect me at all. And your approval of me people doesn't affect like me either. No, people are scared of that they shit. Yep, they are. They're terrified. Yeah. Because you don't have any control over a person like that. Yeah, I see That's it like, like with you. People don't. People get like that with you. Get like what? Because you, like, you. It doesn't affect you. Like, people's no. opinions and stuff like that of you, and you can tell. Like, and then you can you can see people's reactions to that. People want to get you back in line so that way they have some way to like control your actions. But yeah. <laughs> Work. <laughs> yeah, so, so I, I think the song is lyrically, um, it's funny because Jesus' family was like that. They had a hard time with it. 
they had a hard time with him. And, you know, you can see that in John 7. His brothers were like, hey, man, you know, what are you doing? Blah. You know, and when? <laughs> what do you mean? John chapter 7. What says, was happening? Go show yourself to the world then. And then John says even his own brothers didn't believe in him. Yeah. And, um, and you know, they thought he was crazy and they were trying to pull him back, you know, because he was out doing all his work out in public and stuff. And they were, like, trying to pull him back, back inside the house because they thought he was crazy. I don't they, remember that. Yeah, they said he's lost his mind, you know. And it's like... That's how you would expect a family to react when a person's making messianic claims out in public. Yeah, but it's weird to me because <laughs> like I you feel wouldn't like say that's right, it, little brother. Would flag you like he was perfect. He never, he never sinned. Oh, well, you up. would never know that. You would never. You know would that never he was know perfect. that. Because we can see that all of our kids sin. <laughs> yeah. Well, when if there was one that was flawless in everything. Yeah, you would resent him because. Because then it would it would call you out on your bullshit. Yeah. You would resent him. You wouldn't be happy with him as a parent or as a child. You'd be as like, a oh, parent? here's a golden boy. Yeah, of course. Why? Wouldn't it make your because when you're having a meltdown and then he looks at you and you can tell that he's like, <laughs> what the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> like that would not be cool to have a completely sinless child. So, my, but my point is, is like they they wanted to. There were a lot of people that wanted to get Jesus to compromise too. And to change who he was and all that. And even even his enemies were like, don't say this. Trying to t control what he was saying. They're like, if you say that, you're saying that about us too. And Jesus mm -hmm. was like, I know. You suck too. <laughs> it was awesome. It's unbelievable. But, so, I, I think there's a big lesson in this song, which is, you know, you can't compromise who you are. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> and it, you, you gotta, you gotta kind of... And everybody kind of has that capacity to varying degrees, and you know you've get, you've got to find ways to manage that shit, and and find way find what grounds you, find what your ultimate value system is, and stay true to that. So when he says at the end, "Come here, I've paid up for you. I sold my weakness too. Come here, I split my heart in two, but you don't have it in you, do you?" Is he saying, "Look at everything that I went through." To, like like I split my heart into selling myself out. You couldn't even do that. You couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is people always go after these guys for selling out. <laughs> they always judge them. Yeah. And I think he's saying you don't have it in you to stay. I always say stay true to yourself, but that's not really the thing. It's stay true. You've got to have a value system that's above yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if you stay true to yourself, you can compromise. You can compromise. Because you've got to have principles outside of yourself that are bigger than yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if you stay true to yourself, then you're going to do with what's in your best self-interest in the moment. Mm -hmm. And so what was good for his self-interest in the moment was selling out. Yeah. What he's bemoaning is the higher principle of art and integrity that was mm -hmm. beyond him. Yeah. So yeah. you got to find what you're guiding you know, compasses, what your north is for life, and stay true to that in spite of yourself sometimes. Don't stay true to yourself. Stay true to that ultimate principle. Uh, obviously for us, it's the way of Jesus. Mm -hmm. But you, you gotta find it. If you're not gonna do that, which obviously we recommend, but if you're not gonna do that, you still gotta find some high guiding principle yep. that, that will, will keep you straight. And that's mm -hmm. what integrity means. It's Integrity is how aligned your actions are with your with your guiding principle. Right. <clears throat> so there you go. What do you give the song? Well, I mean if I never heard Tool <laughs> Or even though I know about Tool. I, I mean I get they did good. I would I guess I guess an eight or a seven. But I'm I'm docking points because it was it was Tool 2.0 without the uh Hold on. I didn't go on some trip far away <laughs> so it was missing that <laughs> well I mean, you that can't tool use, element you know you can't use that as the bar no i'm saying it's supposed <laughs> to sound like if it's sounding like so much like tool but it can't take you anywhere so what did you give it probably a seven it's a six for me it was a six for me but i'm glad that we did it because i do remember that it's been asked for a ton a ton a ton Vin out sorry out gone